Hello and welcome to Eagle Talks Football. We're back again with another upload. Yes, I know you guys are probably thinking, why is Egal not doing more lives? He's always doing uploads. You know what, guys? I haven't slept. I have uh, so my bad. And it's been 20 hours since the news of David Rea came out, and I had to get a video out. I did do a small short video as I was in the hospital, and I last night I became a father, so I'm very happy about that. And just trying to get you guys some of this content out before the little one comes home from the hospital. So let's get into all the latest news. Thank you for all the great wishes, ladies and gentlemen, and all the congratulations and everything that you guys have been sending me in the comments. I really do appreciate it. And while you guys are here, let's let's get into the Arsenal content. Let's get into the news. And make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't already hit that notification bell, please do that also. Here we go. It's funny because David Rea was actually in that intro video originally because he was linked to Tottenham heavily. And he, he looked like he was going to head to Tottenham this transfer window. But now it looks like Arsenal are exploring a deal for David Rea, as reported 20 hours ago from David Onstein. The reports have been that Arsenal are exploring the opportunity of signing him and he prefers the move to Arsenal over Bayern Munich, showing that Arsenal and the Premier League just has way more pull than the Bundesliga giant at this moment in time. I wouldn't be surprised that he would want to stay in England where he's currently living, where he's currently presiding. And of course, he would also want to stay in London where he's currently living. The 27-year-old goalkeeper has been touted as one of the best uh, goalkeepers in the Premier League statistically uh, over the last couple of years. And we're going to look into all of that at this moment in time. But let's see where we lie. What do you guys think is going to happen? Do you guys believe Arsenal are actually going to pull off the transfer of David Raya? You guys honestly believe Arsenal are going to be able to get this deal over the line? And how amazing of a transfer window could this be? If we, not only are we going to get David Raya, but we potentially could still get Mohamed Kudos at this moment in time. Now, I haven't seen any concrete evidence of that, but we're going to stay. We're going to keep it locked and, and keep talking about this at this moment in time. Let's get. Let's continue. Let's get. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Do you guys think David Raya is coming in to overtake a Ramsdale, or do you think he's just coming in to be a replacement? Uh, now, the reason why I say that is it's understood that Arsenal are in the favor of signing him as a lot, and he have been a long term admirer of David Raya. We actually wanted David Raya before we got Ramsdale from Sheffield, uh, from Sheffield United. David Raya was one of our first choices, but they didn't want to sell him at the time. Uh, Team News Tick saying that he got the update that Arsenal are apparently in for David Raya about a couple days ago. There's also reports that Bayern Munich had their bid, had their, uh, had their. Uh, interest in him, but are no longer interested after Arsenal have come in and swooped in. Um, it is it is uh, understood that he prefers a move to buy uh, to Arsenal over Bayern Munich, as I already said. And there's some more stuff that I am told that both sides were uh, were to agree a deal. Current uh, preference would be Arsenal over Bayern Munich. He's still assessing his options and could change based on the pitches from the respective sides. Arsenal currently well-placed. David Raya could end up be, uh, joining Arsenal, but the question is, will he join Arsenal to be a backup? Bayern boss appreciates David Raya's uh, ball-playing qualities. The club are unwilling to pay the high fee for the goalkeeper this summer. And the reason why we'd be willing to pay so much money for uh a backup is because it does seem like at this moment in time, Matt Turner could be headed out. So I'm not looking at David Ray as a backup. I'm looking at David Ray as somebody who can fight for uh, the place to be the number one keeper. I still believe Aaron Rams is a quality keeper and he's not going absolutely anywhere. This could be our new Ospina to our, uh, our Petr Cech, similar to how we had it in the past where we had two top goalkeepers, one to play in the cups and one to play in in the Premier League. But with Matt Turner, seems to be close to a move to Nottingham Forest as Dean Henderson is no longer their number one choice and they've changed their attention and turned their attention to Matt Turner and it could be a permanent deal. This is an ideal time to potentially sell Matt Turner. He just had a good he just had a good World Cup. He also had a good uh, Gold Cup. He's he's been he's been 
raising his stock a little bit. And this is probably the perfect time for him to move on. He can get a number one position somewhere else, like Nottingham Forest, a team in the Premier League that are lower down the table, but yet still in the Premier League. And from what we've seen from Matt Turner, he's a decent goalkeeper, but he doesn't ooze with confidence for me to say, you know what, I would trust him to start in a Champions League game, where if we were to bring in David Rea, I would trust him to start in the Champions League or in the Premier League. And I would also trust Ramsdale to do the same. And these are two quality keepers that can fight for that place, where I never actually felt like Matt Turner was ever pushing, um, what do you call it, uh, Ramsdale for that number one spot. It is also understood that Arsenal is set to make an offer and a bid will be coming in very soon. Bayern uh, loan was rejected as Bayern, uh, uh, because Bayern wanted him on loan, as reported by Fabrizio Romano. Um, Arsenal expected to launch a surprise bid to sign David Rea uh, after, Bayern reject, uh, after Bayern had their loan rejected for the Spanish keeper. He is, of course, a Spanish international, if you guys aren't aware. Um, he, I think he's Spain's third keeper. Um, then you also have Matt Turner is an option uh, for Nottingham Forest. Of course, Matt Turner will be their starting keeper. And surprise, Arsenal would consider selling him after joining just a year ago. But assuming depends on the signing of David Rea. So, of course, if we can get rid of David Rea, I mean, if we can get in David Rea, Matt Turner will be headed out, out of the door. Now, with that being said, about 18 hours ago, Brentford had a game uh, in America where they're playing and they didn't have Matt Turner, even in, um, I mean, David Rea, even in the squad. So that is just a sign of more things to come with David Rea, not even in the squad. Uh, continued talks between Arsenal and Forrest over a loan with an obligation to buy for Matt Turner. So it's a loan with an obligation to buy. Um, you also have uh, Thomas Frank coming out uh, with reports saying that he's worth around 40 million, um, one of the best keepers in the Premier League. Uh, and of course, uh, if Declan Rice went for 105 million and Harry Kane, they're talking about 150 million. Uh, we have to find a fair place with one year left. He's, of course, Brentford are going to try to get as much money as possible, but no one's paying upwards of 100 million for a keeper in today's market. He's worth about 40 million. That's that. That sounds reasonable. But will we drop a record transfer fee for a goalkeeper in our books for a back, uh, for someone who could essentially be a backup, or or somebody who could challenge for that number one spot? We're going to talk about all that in a, in a couple of seconds. But also, it does seem like Arsenal do have another transfer on the books on its way, as we might be getting about five million for Austin Trusty. That is pure profit because we barely spent much for on the player. So five million. <laughs> Arsenal are in talks for a deal for Austin Trusty uh, ahead of Sheffield United uh, season long uh, deal. I hope it's an obligation to buy or a permanent deal. But hey, uh, it's a loan with an option to buy also. Okay, so we're going to have to wait and see. If Austin Trusty can do what he did last season, that, uh, that option to buy could definitely be triggered. Five million does seem like a reasonable deal. And, he, and what he showed at Birmingham City is he's a quality player. So I trust that he can potentially get, get over the line and do the same thing again. So let's, let's, go, let's get into some of these, let's get into some of these uh, things uh, that we've been seeing with the goalkeeper. So the brilliant George was saying that a uh, brilliant keeper creates a uh, uh, step complacent. What? Brilliant keeper would create more uh, synergy to complete uh, uh, to compete with uh, Ramsdale and of course top performer uh, uh, distribution profile versus Turner who we've seen is we'd loosely just use as a penalty saver prowess but it's flabbergasting yeah George is just as shocked as I am now a lot of people are looking at these underlining statistics these underlining statistics are telling you that Raya is actually statistically a better goalkeeper than uh, Ra Ramsdale last season. Now, save percentage, saves made. When it comes to goals conceded, of course, clean sheets, Arsenal is going to have an advantage there. He had more saves. He had a better save percentage. He also completed more short passes as that is their style of play. Um, also, long passes. With Ivan Tony, he was able to complete a lot of them also, and he attempted a lot of them. 
um, pass accuracy, as you can see, um, Ramsdale's slightly higher but pass attempts. He actually attempted way more passes. He also had more, recovered more balls and overall his statistics are just slightly higher. Now you can, you can say, you can say there's reasons for some of the stuff, but passes attempts, I'm shocked that, that he has more passes than, 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 than Ramsdale. You'd think Ramsdale would be more involved in the passing attack, but I guess the, they, their defense holds on to the ball a lot more. You could you could say that the numbers are slightly skewed because Arsenal were such a good team last year and we didn't really need to worry about the goalkeeper keeping busy. Where Brentford, their goalkeeper would keep busy a lot more. But clean sheets wise, they weren't too far off. Fourteen to twelve, it's pretty 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 impressive uh, stats. I really do believe he could he could be our our Ospina. You know what I mean? But yeah, let me know what do you guys think about the links to uh, David Raya right now. Of course, we, we've already seen some of the other stuff. I'm not going to lie. These guys are ruthless. They're ruthless. To, to go for David Rea this window, I, I would have never expected us to go for David Rea. I honestly am quite shocked. And David Rea's stats for a goalkeeper in the Premier League is one of the best, actually, statistically. I'm not saying he's the best keeper. I'm saying he's statistically one of the better keepers. As long pass completed with Ivan Tony there, he completed a lot of passes. His touches, he has a lot of touches during the game. Uh, catches crosses, he's second most uh, co uh, to come out and catch crosses. Saves from outside the box. Uh, saves shots from outside the box about 64% of the time. Saves as a goalkeeper, uh, 154 now. One of the better keepers there. Now, my question to you guys is who's better, Ramsdale or Rea? Does it really matter? Uh, to me, what I'm saying is, if we can bring both of them in, we have two quality keepers, and we have a we have two people that can compete for the position, and it will improve Ramsdale, and it will improve Raya. Ramsdale, of course, is two years younger than Raya, so regardless, we are age uh, we are covering ourselves in the case that one or the other is is not available. We have a quality keeper that can step in, so I'm very happy. But majority of people are gonna say. Uh, Raya is better than Ramsdale, but personally for me, I still believe Ramsdale is the better keeper, and, and he's taller. and And I'm not a I'm not too fond of shorter keepers, but David Raya is distribution and ball playing ability. I would say is better than Ramsdale's at this moment in time. Now, with that being said, that is everything. Where is everything? Yeah, so that's that's everything there with the whole with the whole David Raya situation. Let me know what you guys think about David Raya. Will he be joining Arsenal to be a backup? Do you think it will be a situation where Mikel Arteta and the boys can get this deal over the line? And do you believe David Raya to Arsenal will be happening? Personally, for me, I'm I'm extremely excited of the possibility of Arsenal strengthening the squad more and more and more. And I just find it so odd that rival fans are just so like obsessed. With 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 uh with this whole with this whole uh, situation, where it's like we're improving our squad, but people just are saying, oh, um, they're just trying to troll us. It just it just don't make sense to me. It just don't make sense to me. But yeah, um, and then I also seen some random report. I need to, I need to, I need to check this out. What I seen this report somewhere, and I'm not sure if there's any reliability to it. But surely, surely, this don't make sense. So last night, if you guys don't know, we were also linked to um, Napoli forward Kevin Schelia. Uh, now, where this came from, I don't know. So let me just check. And I'm going to tell you guys, I don't believe this is reliable at all. But I'm just going to show you guys. Um, Arsenal are reportedly plotting a move to sign uh, Kevin Schelia from Napoli. Uh, new director used to work uh, with Arsenal as a consultant. So there's optimism a deal can be reached. Ozyman says uh, uh, staying at the Syria side, making a deal more likely. Unfortunately, the report is from good old Steve. So we don't believe him. Whatever he says must not be true. So let's not, let's not, let's not get too much into it, but would Kavishkelia be a dream signing this transfer window for Arsenal? I personally don't think it makes sense. We already have so many left wingers. I don't view him as somebody who can play on the right. Uh, 
personally for me, with the amount of money that they would be looking at potentially trying to get bring in for him, it wouldn't even make sense. I don't know where this rumor came from. I don't believe him, and I don't believe there's any legitimacy to this trend to this transfer rumor. Um, also, the report the report is coming from Football Transfer uh, Transfer dot com, so you can trust it as far as you can you can throw them really. But for now, I bid you guys to do. Let me know what you guys think Arsenal is going to do, ladies and gentlemen. Do you guys believe we're going to get David Rea? Do you think David Rea is better than Aaron Ramsdale? And what do you think Mikel Arteta is doing? Personally, for me, I view it as nobody is safe at Arsenal Football Club. And it, and if there's an opportunity to improve the squad, we're going to improve the squad. And for the rival fans and everybody else who's just trolling Ramsdale and trolling us, you want to know something? You're literally laughing at the fact that we're improving our squad. <laughs> Take that in. People are saying like, ha, 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 you're replacing Ramsdale. You thought he was the best in the league. Well, we still have a keeper that we believe is one of the better keepers in the league, and we're getting a better play, a backup to challenge him. We still have Partey, and we're getting Declan Rice to, to challenge him and to, to, and to take that spot. We also have Ben White, and we're still bringing in Timber to improve our squad. So rivals continue to banter as Arsenal continues to improve and make this title a title-contending squad where you guys are left in the dust. For now, I bid you guys adieu. Let me know what you guys think, and I'm out, people. Have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful day.